question. Well, we definitely know that producing movie is no small feat. So could you give us a glimpse into some of the highs and lows of production during the process of filming? Like, how did those experiences help shape the final outcome of the movie? Such a good question. Well, you know what? When you hire top level artists behind the camera and in front, you're giving yourself the best shot to create something special. And mm -hmm. that's really what we did. Every single artist on that set was um, tremendously talented. And our two lead girls, uh, Lydia and Olivia, um, you couldn't ask for better. They were game. They were fun. Mm -hmm. They were smart. They had to sit in the makeup chair for three hours on some days, but that Jeez. didn't diminish their, their enthusiasm. They would show up. Um, so we had, we also hired, um, a spiritual coordinator because we wanted to make sure the set was, was, was blessed that the set had good energy. She would do, she would come in the early in the morning, sage that whole set. And, you know, I think that's important to note because a lot of times you do see like these paranormal activity type movies and you're like, all right, like how do you as a person behind the scenes, like how do you approach going into this? And like, exactly. Fiction, but you know, it has some play on, you know, real life experiences. So of course, mm -hmm. and we're using real incantations from a lot of different sources. This is, this isn't pretend in a way, you know what I'm saying? So real. <laughs> that's right. So we wanted to make sure that the crew and the cast felt uh, protected, you know, spiritually protected and they did. And so having Carla on set every day, dressed in white with her beautiful smile, asking people if they're good. It just set the tone that the filmmakers really care about the set. And, you know, making movies is hard. You're there for 14, 15 hours a day. You're leaving your kids. You're leaving your husband, your wife, whatever. Um, you want to know that the place you're going to is, um, is, is, is filled with good vibes, right? So that's what we really, really tried to do. Awesome. Well, I thank you for sharing those experiences because I know me specifically, I'm one of those people that's like, what is going on behind the scenes? So we definitely appreciate your insight into what some of that looks like. Um, so you mentioned the Academy Awards. Uh, so I would like to kind of dive into that a little bit. Um, so you are you made history as the first Black woman to produce the Academy Awards. Can you share your thoughts on the significance of this milestone and what it means to have this type of representation for Black women and women of color in the industry? I love that question. Can I tell you that producing the Academy Awards was, you know, one of clearly one of the highlights of my career. Um, it um, and and I produced it with Lynette Taylor, um, Lynette Hall Taylor. We were committed to real representation on the screen because the Oscars is the biggest night. So the first thing we did was we said we want Janelle Monae to open the show. You know, a black queer woman who is a beyond fabulous. Um, and it really set the tone, I think, that, you know, we, we're we here to celebrate movies and to celebrate the people who make movies, but also to let the world know that, you know, this exclusive enclave is full of us. We are everywhere. And every that, aspect, <laughs> every aspect of the show. And to me, that made it so powerful to be backstage calling that show right behind the curtains, you know what I mean? Um, and it was just a joy. I, I can't I can't tell you, you know, I, I've been a first a lot, yeah, I'm the first black female to run the producers guild and this and that. It's so crazy to still say like, oh, I'm the first. The first. Black I know, it's crazy, it's crazy, but somebody has to do it. You know what I'm saying? And so my hope is that it, allows the doors to fall open, allows all of us to get through. You know what I mean? It's just, to me, that is the power of cinema, the power of representation on the screen. I've seen it in action from Boys in the Hood all the way through the last movies I've made. And um, for, it's my passion, it's my dedication, right? To, to show representation that is not stereotypical, that is not um, feeding into somebody's imagination but that is real you know that's powerful I think so um so yeah the Oscars are pretty fantastic that was really fun 
And I got all these free clothes. That was really fun. 